Okay, a ball has a fixed volume of 5.1 exponent 3, negative 3 meter cube. The ball is filled with air at a pressure of 1.24 exponent 5 pascal and at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the air then drops to 0 degrees Celsius, but the, wall, the volume of the ball remains constant. Calculate the new pressure in the ball. Okay, so here you see uh, there is two conditions. Okay, let us uh, write down the two conditions here. Okay, um, what we can see from here, he said the volume is constant. Ah, yeah, this one. Volume constant. Uh, so they both of these conditions have the same volume. Okay, let's write that down. So V1 is equal to V2. Uh, and what's the volume? The volume is uh, 5.1 exponent negative 3. Meter cube. Uh, so that's the volume constant. But then um, initially the ball the, the air in the ball has pressure uh, this amount of pressure and this temperature. Uh, so that's the, the initial one. We write that down also. P1 equal to 1.24 phonon uh, 5 pascal. Okay, all in SI unit. Good. Okay. Uh, temperature. Oh, temperature is not SI unit. You need to change. Uh, this uh, temperature into uh, you know Kelvin uh, because later on we are going to use the formula PV equal to nRT um, all this uh, temperature must be in Kelvin cannot be degree Celsius yeah must change to Kelvin uh, this one must uh, SI unit all right so this temperature we need to change uh, so 25 degree Celsius so we must plus 273. Uh, so it becomes what? Okay. Plus 273. 25 plus 273. You get 298. Uh, 298 Kelvin. Uh, you must change the, the unit. Yeah. Now, uh, after that, the temperature drops to zero. Uh, so that's the, that's the temperature at second condition. It drops to zero. So, 0 degrees Celsius here uh, also must change to Kelvin. Uh, must change to Kelvin. So, it's 273 Kelvin. Yeah. Uh, this, this unit must change to uh, Kelvin. Okay. SI unit. So, uh, volume constant. Uh, calculate the new pressure in the ball. So, we need to find this pressure, pressure to. Uh, so, the constant one is the volume, uh, volume constant, but the pressure changes. So, what can you do for this question? Very simple. So, this one is a volume constant. Okay, uh, volume is, um, volume is uh, constant, but pressure and temperature changes. Pressure and temperature changes. So, um, uh, this is a pressure law. Or gay lussac law. Uh, so we can just use the P2 over T2 equal to P1 over T1 uh, pressure law, isn't it? Uh, so, like for example, like pressure 2, uh, like temperature 2, the temperature decreases, right? The temperature decreases, uh, temperature decreases, the pressure also decreases. Uh, the temperature 2 decreases from the temperature 1. Pressure also must decrease. So we can find the pressure to uh, so uh, pressure to but this one must be in Kelvin. Uh, this one must be in Kelvin, the unit must be in Kelvin, uh, cannot be degree Celsius. Yeah, degree Celsius wrong. Understand? Must be in Kelvin. Uh, if you put degree Celsius, then it's wrong. Uh, so let's let's uh, let's uh, solve it. Yeah. Let's stop it. So this temperature is uh, 298 Kelvin. Okay, eh? So no, no, no. Red temperature 2, 273 Kelvin. And then the first condition is a uh, 1.24 exponent uh, 5 Pascal. 
over the temperature one two nine eight Kelvin. Okay. Uh, so what is your pressure two? Pressure two. Calculate. Okay, so my pressure is uh, 1.14, 1 1.14, uh, exponent, exponent 5, exponent 5, Pascal, and that's the answer, is it? Yes, the answer is uh, B, is it 1.14 exponent 5, Pascal, so simple, this question, yeah? Uh, so, or you want to use the formula PV and RT also can, yeah? Uh, like this one, you see? Uh, you want to use PV equal to NRT also can. This one also can use PV equal to NRT, uh, yeah? But this one is uh, pressure 1, temperature 1. Uh, this one is pressure 2, temperature 2. Actually, these two formula, these two formula, they combine. Uh, these two formula, they combine, you get this. The same formula, yeah. Uh, it's the same thing, uh, yeah. And then uh, volume is constant, yeah. Volume is constant at that value. So you want to find the, let's say you want to find the, you know, the number of mole first, uh, yeah. Get the number of mole from here. Uh, once you know the number of mole, uh, you substitute into here. Uh, you substitute the number of mole into here. Uh, then you can find what you can find the new pressure. You can find P two. Okay, are you sure you still get the same answer? So that's it. Yeah, very simple. This question. Okay. Uh, yeah, for this, uh, this one. Okay, bye.